Hello everybody, we are Susana Marron Gonzalez and Agata Celasiowska from the University of Salamanca and we are really pleased to be here presented at the SLIF conference. Our current research, Multimodal Metaphors of Migration in Judy Morales' Children's Picture Book, Dreamers, A Migrant's Perspective. Here's the outline that we will follow for our presentation. To start with, we'd like to explain why we were interested in this object of study. And the first reason is that today's society is witnessing a global migration crisis in different parts of the world, as we can see from the recent events uh, about the Syrian and Afghan refugees or the Latin uh, American uh, migration in the United States. The way migration is construed multimodally and metaphorically is of great interest in discourse analysis and more particularly in the press, since it is a, a great information source for exploring this complex topic. As we will see, migrants are represented from the host country's perspective in this genre and it is aimed mainly at an adult audience. Another reason is that um, the educational institutions should address this topic. We deem essential to integrate multimodal literacy practices in the curriculum, not only from an outsider's perspective, but also from the migrants' one. Children's picture book can be exploited for its value as meaning-making resources that can be targeted at young readers from early childhood so that they can grow up and become active agents and talent social injustice. Now, my colleague will provide you with an overview of the existing representations of migrations in the media. Studies that have been carried out so far point out to the overwhelming number of negative metaphorical representations of migration and migrants in discourse, especially in the press, um, which present the host country's point of view, and uh, they depict migrants as the threatening others, for instance, as, um, as natural disasters. Um, they refer to migrants as waves, floods or deluge, migrants as animals, parasites or swarms, for instance, uh, unwanted plants or weeds that need to be uprooted or weeded out. Um, migration is very often conceptualized as a military conflict and migrants as invaders, uh, for instance, armies or conquering hordes. Um, and uh, migrants are very often uh, objectified in, uh, in the media um, and they are referred to as um, um, objects or commodities or goods that can be redistributed, for instance. Uh, among the studies, many have focused on the representation of Mexican and Latino population in the US. And uh, the metaphorical constructions of, um, uh, of migrants from, from this part of the world do not differ from the common wildly used metaphors in public discourse worldwide. Uh, so for instance, migrants are also depicted as uh, animals as a natural disaster, as invaders, diseases or burden, and also as criminals metonymically, as uh, demonstrated by Catalan and Law in 2013. Um, they, uh, they are depicted uh, as uh, criminals um, most of the time. Uh, Catalana in 2017 uh, again um, proved mm, the, mm, the prevailing uh, metaphor um, immigrants are dangerous waters. Uh, specifically, um, she, she um, did some research on immigrant children uh, who are also portrayed as, uh, as dangerous waters. And uh, she also explored the implications of this dominant portrayal on the education of immigrant children in, in the community. Uh, Catalana and Mitchell McCallow in 2019 looked into the metaphorical and metonymical multimodal uh, depiction of migration of accompanied migrant children to the US, um, not only in the discourse of the media, but also in the children's own discourse, um, their own accounts of migration. And uh, the differences between the media and the children's use of verbal metaphors were considerable. 
uh, migrants' children are water, so pouring into the United States or streaming over the border, and migrant children are animals, uh, rounding them up or corralling them, uh, were again prevailing in, in, in the media discourse. Uh, however, in the young newcomers' accounts, water metaphors were absent, and the most frequently occurring metaphor was uh, migration is a journey, uh, described as a journey from home, uh, so in which country of origin is conceptualized as home, a journey of hope, of life, of better opportunities. Uh, it was also conceptualized as a dangerous journey uh, in which migrant children uh, may become prey to gangs or border patrol. So migrant children also refer to themselves as um, animals, as uh, prey more specifically. Fengen O'Halloran, uh, quoting Morris, state that metaphors serve the purpose of understanding through domestication, a process in which abstract ideas and unfamiliar persons or events are converted into something close, familiar and concrete, um, which is Mm, which is very, um, very important to, to point out talking about uh, children's picture books. So an abstract complex, complex uh, concept such as migration um, is made more familiar and um, uh, closer uh, to them uh, as represented through metaphors, uh, as we'll see later on. Uh, El Rafai also um, adds that uh, abstract meaning needs to be resourced visually by means of symbols, metonymies uh, or metaphors. This is the case of the uh, abstract concept of migration and uh, whose metaphorical representation in dreamers um, is the subject of our analysis as an illustration of contemporary children's literature. Let's now introduce the author, Judy Morales, she is a Mexican writer and illustrator. In fact, this picture book is an extraordinary exa example of the artistic uh, skills, um, not only in writing, but also in crafting. Uh, for example, we can see different um, cultural elements uh, of Mexico um, on the book, like uh, patchwork and drawings and um, materials um, and on the other hand um, she gives an account of her and her son's um, personal experience as migrants in the US. Um, for this reason it has been several times awarded um, in uh, books competitions. And as we mentioned earlier, children's picture books are a powerful multimodal artifact. So they're texts uh, that help in literacy development, not only on the reading skills. Um, for example, um, authors like Katorsky, Moses, Serafin and Holtin um, claim that children should understand and interpret meanings that uh, are uh, other than the textual or the verbal that is the, the written text and um, for example um, the visual modes so um, learners need to negotiate these meanings when the modes are intertwined and convey these meanings and secondly um, this is a literary genre that mirrors shared cultural values attitudes and skills and uh, of course migration uh, is an encounter between two cultures and um, tackling this, uh, this issue helps in the development of the intercultural communicative competence, especially in foreign language teaching and learning, as Byram claimed, and um, finally leading to intercultural awareness and promoting social justice uh, values. Um, and finally, uh, it triggers uh, the child socialization um, and, it, and the children at these very early stages of life, uh, they are guided uh, by the teachers uh, to understand the world that they um, live in. So our study builds on a multimodal and multidimensional uh, approach uh, in order to engage in a multimodal analysis of dreamers and track multimodal metaphors of migration. 
the previous literature review served as uh, the starting point for the formulation of um, the following research questions, namely, what elements of transitivity are employed verbally and visually to construe migration, and what conceptual metaphors are present in the multimodal construction of migration and migrants. Uh, for the analysis of image text relations uh, and anali an analysis of transitivity patterns and the semantic choices was conducted to determine the representation of migration and uh, taking into consideration the migrants perspective. Um, firstly, we examined uh, the verbal and uh, the visual um, and visual representational meaning and uh, drawing upon systemic functional grammar, we identified the configuration of the clause in terms of experiential, um, pro uh, experiential processes, participant roles and circumstances and provided a quantitative analysis of the frequency of their appearance. On the other hand, uh, images were analyzed um, experientially following uh, the visual social semiotics um, framework developed by Crescent van Leeuwen. And uh, more completely, the, we, um, we analyzed it also uh, following um, the elaborated version for reading visual narratives in children's picture books uh, adopted, um, well, adapted by uh, painter Martin and uh, Antwerp, later on Moya Guijarro, and Kanye uh, Maris Torrijos. Oh, well, secondly, uh, multimodal metaphors of migration were identified following a joint framework of multimodal conceptual metaphor theory and social semiotic approach to um, visual representation to the visual representation of metaphor. Uh, finally, the intertwining of the verbal and uh, visual modes was triangu triangulated with um, the multimodal metaphors of migration uh, identified. And uh, since migration is an encounter of cultures, we have also considered inter, um, intercultural um, education with special attention to the concept of intercultural uh, communicative competence, uh, first uh, developed by uh, Byram. The Qualitative analysis facilitated understanding of the migration experience instantiated multimodally in the picture book. The adoption of the mixed methods approach, uh, we think, provides a better understanding of our research in that it enables us to integrate qualitative and quantitative results uh, to shed light on the meaning making resources deployed um, in the representation of migration as a social construct and to communicate this event to young readers from a unique uh, migrant perspective. Well, as for the results, um, the main underlying multimodal metaphor um, turned out to be migration is a journey. So also the metaphor that appeared in children's own discourse in uh, Catalan and Macaulay 2019 uh, research uh, on the discourse of, uh, of migrants themselves. Um, it is a very protective metaphor and several metaphorical mappings uh, were used and a lot of metaphorical entailments as well. There are 32 metaphors in total, 12 of which are cued on in the visual mode and 20 of which uh, in the verbal visual mode. In the table below, we can see some of the examples of metaphors cued in the visual mode uh, only and in the verbal visual uh, mode uh, as well. On the other hand, we have concentrated on the analysis of representational meaning, both visually and verbally, and this has led us to uh, state that migrants are active agents in the narrative. Um, we will uh, look at the transitivity patterns that are present at close level and also in the vision mode um, to uh, understand the configuration of uh, participant roles, processes and circumstances. If we have a look at the charts below, um, we see that the main processes are relational uh, and relational attributive um, because uh, we can see all the, um, the attributes that um, the protagonists um, have uh, as um, identification of their culture, their home culture, 
Um, secondly, we, we have many instances of material processes, and specifically material transformative, which um, uh, also is an example of their agency, um, as we will see. And uh, in the third place, we find the mental processes, both perceptive and cognitive, uh, because um, we can dive into the character's mind and consciousness uh, as, as they discover a new language and a new culture. And uh, this um, entails that they have uh, um, changing qualities throughout the process. Now we will address the multimodal metaphor, migration is a journey. Um, as in the different stages, it appears uh, multimodally. Um, so we can see the pre-departure uh, point when they are leaving the home country. Then another stage is the arrival in the foreign country uh, with feelings of amazement and fear. And also um, moments of adjustment to the target culture where they are making mistakes because they are not familiarized with the cultural norms of the US. Also, um, this leads to another stage, which is the adaptation to the cultural practices and behaviors, but at the same time, they recognize the value of their um, home or, or native um, identity. And finally, we see that uh, gradually they are integrated in the target community. There are stories, there are two languages, and they are dreamers, soñadores of the world. So um, this um, code switching also implies that they are integrated in the, in the country. Uh, we have selected two double spreads to illustrate specific stages of the migration journey to get an insight of the multimodal construction of migrants' identity and their agency. In the third double spread, which is the one on, on your left at the moment, uh, the reader can see a backpack full of gifts. In the visual mode, the gifts are symbolic attributes. Uh, that is object that conventionally represent Mexico, such as uh, the guitar, uh, the dog, um, the volcano, the milagrito, uh, which is a common Mexican handcrafted charm, the toy skeleton associated with, uh, with El Dia de la Muerte, uh, so the day of death, the moon, the star and other meteorological elements like the sun, the clouds, um, etc. The green leaf uh, and the flower. Uh, a recurrent element in the book is the pencil that you can see sticking out of the backpack, uh, which symbolizes the author's love for drawing and highlights her role as an uh, as actor in the material creative process of writing her migration story. In the verbal mode, uh, these gifts are the goal of the material transformative process bundled uh, in which the mother and the child, we are uh, actors. The place circumstantial element, the backpack, holds the symbolic attributes together along all the journey. Noteworthy, uh, the choice of noun gifts cues the conceptual metaphor migrant cultural contribution um, is a gift to the host country. In the subsequent double spread, so the one that you can see on your uh, on your right at the moment, uh, the reader can see the mother and the child presented as one figure of doing, uh, crossing the bridge with um, their eyes closed, um, as if they were dreaming. Uh, the verbal mode and cross the bridge outstretched like the universe, accompanying the picture indicates that they are still the actors in a material process. The bridge with the scope clearly visually emphasizes the path um, that they are following as travelers, as walkers, which in turn gives the metaphor migrants are dreaming travelers. Uh, the characters embark on this journey one day, which is a nominal group functioning uh, as location time circumstance and are accompanied by flying uh, monarch butterflies and swallows. These animals are known for their migratory patterns and making their annual journey from uh, Mexico to the United States to breed. 
Uh, they also function as symbolic attributes here, queuing the metaphor swallows and monarch butterflies are fellow travelers. Therefore, uh, animals are migrants too. Uh, the simile between the protagonist's lives and uh, those of um, and, uh, and and the life of those uh, winged creatures is constantly present in the narrative. An example can also be found in the twelfth uh, double spread. And now we'll analyze the second double spread, which is the twelfth one, because of. Um, their value as a stop in the journey and revealing one after um, discovering the, the library. So uh, in comparisons with previous double spreads, we see that these cultural gifts um, are brought to life and they are living things. And why? Because they become uh, actors of material transformative processes like walking, flying or carrying books. Um, also, they are travel companions, they have a supportive role, uh, for example, they are carrying the books that do not fit in the mother's backpack, and they are also pointing the direction in the journey, as we can see in the recto with the uh, Milagrito. Something we should uh, highlight is that uh, during um, the narration, um, the participants are mainly um, the protagonists, but then um, books become core participants um, because uh, they are careers in the relational attributive process of becoming, which again implies their changing qualities of migrants that are product of the intercultural experiences or the third place scrunch explained. And um, their attributes uh, are introduced by the possessive pronoun our. So uh, this indicates the simile between uh, the uh, book's uh, life and the um, migrant's one. And if we go more in detail with the multimodal metaphors, uh, we will see uh, differences. So in the first one, books are migrants' language. Um, which uh, visually is a mental perceptive process to point out the emotions recalled by the native culture through the senses. We can see the touting and sensing the, the leaf and the house and um, also in the verbal mode uh, when they say that they learn. So this is a mental cognitive process and uh, indicating the literacy moment as uh, an enriching state and inevitable, which also empowers migrants. Um, the second metaphor is books are migrants' home, um, as we can see also in the visual mode, uh, with the hand superimposed on the main facade of the house and the child's hand illuminating the path to the house. And finally, um, we can see that books are migrants' lives, also in the visual mode, uh, where material, mental and behavioral processes indicate that books are the experience of uh, being alive. Uh, so um, um, a window and a separation between the inner and the outer world and a way of living as migrants. So uh, through the stories, uh, it is a, a journey. And also they are dreamers. Um, we can see that they're, they're, this is a coping mechanism uh, of children uh, to avoid uh, suffering and um, uh, avoid the obstacles. This study aimed at exploring the semiotic resources of the system of transitivity uh, that are present in, 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 the, in Dreamers in this children's picture book. Uh, and that construe multimodal metaphors of migration. Uh, while mostly the visual and verbal modes complement each other uh, to provide young readers with a first-hand account of the experience of migration in a welcoming but still a challenging social environment, uh, the results showed that migration is construed primarily through relational attributive processes and secondly through material, um, material processes. 
The identity of the protagonists as migrants is variable as they go along the intercultural journey, and this allows them to discover their new um, identity. Simultaneously, migrants are acknowledged by the author herself to be an asset to the target society, uh, thanks to their narrative, native language and uh, multiple cultural practices, such as drawing or sewing, for instance, products that they, um, that they make, uh, mainly books and their personal stories and perspectives, so feelings of gratitude, trust, uh, look to fight and resilience. Uh, this, um, this is revealed through the metaphor migrant culture contribution represented by uh, symbolic attributes. Attrib attributes is a gift to the host country. I think this is the, um, uh, the best indication um, of it. On the other hand, um, their own agency in the building of their identity uh, and in an indication uh, in the host country. Migration sim symbolism uh, as a personal story is encoded in semiotic choices that imply a mechanism of social acceptance as represented experientially and bimodally. Migrants, as the characters urge, are uh, humans worth listening to uh, instead of being objectified, uh, as it always, as it very often happen, uh, happens in um, the media discourse of migration. And here we show you the references we have used. And this brings us to the end of our presentation. So thank you for your attention. We'll be glad to answer any question in the Q&A session.